What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020 Bowman's Best Baseball. Eight box case break. Pick teams number 14 just sold out. And here you go, guys. Remember, all card chip, no twins. We are donating the twins. So any hits that pop up for the twins will be donated. And then, of course, every other team was sold. I'm not sure, Joshua. I mean, I, I, I know, you know, this is why we have a shop for the community to come. You know, especially if you're local, you can come pick up your stuff. Um... I don't have the answer to that question yet. I'm hoping soon. But yes, you know, it's, it's pretty crazy around this area. And, you know, obviously with some of us, you know, like getting COVID, I think it was just best to keep us all safe here. You know, we're all social distance team. We all have our own like little office spaces. So, but, you know, obviously, like I said, it's just everywhere now and it still managed to get us. Um, so I think that's what it is pretty much is to keep us safe so we can continue to work. Um, but like I said, as, as soon as, you know, the bosses say it's good or, you know, we take those extra precautions and, and have customers pop in, we'll definitely let you guys know. So I, I hadn't done anything new for the last nine, 10 months, you know, since you know, we've been going through this pandemic and nothing different and it still somehow got to us. So I'm not sure if we got out of the grocery store or whatever the case may be. So I think it's just more being protected, that's all. But definitely once we can, you know, clear out of all this, you know what I mean? I, I hope you guys can come visit our shop because it's an amazing shop and we're in a beautiful area. You can definitely make a day out of it. So yeah, definitely want all of you guys to visit soon. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah no, I, I feel you, man. This is, I mean, our breaking bars there for a reason, right? <laughs> but yeah, no, I think once it's safe for all of us, we'll be back to normal again. Alright, we're opening a couple boxes at a time, guys. Actually, you know what's crazy is that I wonder if actually don't I wonder if Tops decided that you know Saran wrap this, and they usually Saran wrap this and this, and this time they decided to do stickers. So maybe they're saving a little bit. <laughs> These little mini boxes were usually Saran wrap too. So, is Jason Dominguez in this product? I mean, I know a lot of other prospects would be in here. He is nice. Yeah, usually there's a lot of good prospects in this stuff. And some good, some good, uh, some good vets. Like Trout and whatnot, you know? Nice. Well, let's see. We can see a third. <laughs> Luis Robert, of course, the rookie in here. We want to chase. Good luck to Oliver, who got the White Sox at number fourteen. Alright, let's rip the first four boxes, guys. Again, we are close on another one of these guys, so I mean, like I said, we can always run another one back. I think we're down to like six left. So, if you guys want to. A lot of value in this, guys. I mean, if you get two autographs in every mini box, I mean, total four autos in a whole box. So, four times eight, that's 32 autos. 
pretty strong. So about 11, 11.30 last night. I'll probably do the same. You know, I'm still getting back into the swing of things. But, I mean, of course, if there's bricks that sell out, I mean, I'm not going to not break them. But I think once we get to a good point where it's, like, you know, a little late and there's, like, a brick that's, like, at 10, 15 left and it doesn't move, you know, then probably call it a night. But probably just as late as I did yesterday. Maybe until midnight. Who knows? It just depends how busy we are, you know? Like, if we can get another one of these done, we can get the mixer done, we can get another two box mosaic done, you know, we get the flawless hit done. I mean, that'll still keep us busy for the next couple hours. You know, I am back tomorrow, and then Joe should be back to his normal schedule Tuesday to Saturday, and I'll go back to Instagram for a couple days. So, you know, we're still going to be here seven days a week. Like I just told Tyler, really, it just depends. You know, breaks are sold out. I'm staying and breaking them. But once I get to a point where, you know, it's just kind of a little quiet and, you know, break is still 10, 15 spots away and no one's moving it, so then I'll call it a night. But I'll probably be on here just like I did yesterday. It's about 11, 11.30, maybe till midnight. Um, that just all depends on you guys, right? If you guys sell out breaks or not. <clears throat> So remember, guys, it's only 7 o'clock. So, I mean, we're talking 11, we're still four more hours. You know, at least. Aaron, what's going on, brother? Lions won today, right? They didn't win? I thought they did. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that then. I thought they were winning the last time I seen them. Oh, no. Did they really? Man. All right. And I feel like super practice must be so rough to see in these. All right. Out of 250, Josh Bell. What is this? Luis Robert, franchise 2020. It's a cool-ass looking car. Okay. Will Smith. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is his Arlo rookie. Sean Murphy. Gratterall. Franchise favorites. Fernando Tatis. These are cool looking cards. I don't know if they're just rare or not, but. <laughs> oh, I know, right? I totally forgot about that. <laughs> I bet, right? Thanks for 600 bucks. Dominguez and... Gavin Lux. Decades best autograph parallel for the Dodgers. Going to God. Very nice. You got a red? Or... No, it's just normal. 
Little Atomic, Forrest Whitley. Fat Burger, the dude. You know what? Actually, Aaron, I don't know if you've been in the area for the last like month or so, but um, they're building a Fat Burger right here down the street, actually, right on Artesia. Uh, used to be where the Flame Roller was at, so it's really like legit, like less than a mile from here. <clears throat> All right, we got franchise favorites, Gavin Lux. Uh, no, you cannot, Ray. The mixer is sold out, and that last filler that's on there, that's the last one. So, once we sell that out, it's over. So, yeah, 13 spots left, and that sells out the mixer. You know, I don't really eat fat burgers so much. The only times I really ever ate it when, is when um, Albert Alzole. It's like when I would go to Lava with my parents when I was younger, and... At the casino, the Riverside, they had a fat burger. Which is so funny, because, like, you know, there's, like, all of them around here. And I don't really ever eat it. <laughs> but, um, pretty good. It's not bad. And I really like it, actually. I like their fat fries with their burgers. It's pretty strong. So, I, I just think that since I don't really eat it so much, when I do eat it, it tastes amazing. Brandon McKay to 150. JJ Blade. <laughs> yeah, it's a little pricey for sure. I mean, they have their tiers and stuff. Tim Anderson of burgers, but you know, I mean, if you don't really eat it occasionally, it's not too bad. But just like anything else, you know, there's places that we know of that are probably much better than all these other places. So we see their prices and they're just like, eh, it's a little too pricey, you know. So I feel that sometimes. So like for me, like I, I love the hat. <laughs> Strami is amazing for me. Chili cheese fries, you know, onion rings. <clears throat> Ends up being very pricey. <laughs> you know, the pastrami does like over 10 bucks now, but it's like I, I love it so much that, you know, when I do eat it, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter what the price is. Yes, that's one thing that no one will ever beat. The quality and the price. j Dog, definitely for in and out. Can't beat it. Just can't. Arstides Aquino. Rookie autograph. Two seasons to trying to go down 235. Well, Aaron, you know, to be honest, I mean, I was trying to lose weight regardless, but <clears throat> for the last two weeks, dude, I, I lost like 20 pounds at least. So, I'm like happy, but then I'm like, I know why I lost it because I was sick this whole time, but... <laughs> Tommy's. I haven't had Tommy's in a while, actually. They're they're chilly. Ooh, power produces Pete Alonso to ninety nine for the Mets. Dan with that one. Um, but yeah, Tommy's is not bad. I haven't had that in a while either, man. Aquino, little franchise favorites there. Little Atomic, Spencer Torkelson. I've never done pastrami with pastrami fries, but I've, I should actually just cut off the bread and just do pastrami fries. But no, Aaron, if you ever get a chance, you know, obviously when it gets better, we, we need to go to the Hat if you haven't tried it. Hat's amazing. Their chili, chili cheese fries or chilies is, I think it's better than all the other places. Stuff is amazing. Nico Horner, Lux, Christian Gellich to 250. Power producers, Patrick Bailey. It's called the hat. It's, it's been around for like over 50, 60 years here in SoCal, and it's just only in SoCal. There's only like, you know, less than 10 locations, I want to say. Um, they're kind of a little scattered around. Unfortunately, there's nothing really close here. We'd have to go to like, um, you know, off the 60 and off Atlantic in Monterey Park to go get it. Or, um, you know, the originals over there in Alhambra. There's another one in Temple City. Um, but, you know, it's amazing stuff, man. Pastrami dip is so good. Their hamburgers are okay, too. I mean, they have like, they have like steak sandwiches and hot dogs and, you know, they have a big menu of sandwiches and stuff. But 
Pastrami did for sure. And then their chili cheese fries are just, just amazing. <laughs> I love it. And then their onion rings are so crunchy. They're so good. That's usually, am I, I think I have to thank my parents for that because my parents are the ones that actually took me there as a little kid. So that was like one of the little rotations I always had. You know, we didn't eat out, <laughs> you know, the five days out of the week, but on Saturday and Sunday, we definitely like had a little rotation. I always went there. Stuff is good. Jordan. Yeah, I do too, GJ. I would I would have hated to like not ship every single card here because they're all really nice looking cards. Alzole. Casey Schmidt. Yeah, no, for reals, yeah. I mean, it just sucks, but, you know, it's for the best. It, that's all it is, you know. It's just a safety precaution, that's all. Just trying to control it, you know. We'll, we'll get to back to, the, you know, the somewhat of a normal one soon. Okay. Robert Hassel. And they even have all the new draft picks in this product. That's awesome. Royce Lewis. Bruce Star Gratterall. And Kerstad. At a 150 for the Baltimore Orioles. Going to Joseph Kroll. Yeah, man. I've been wanting to go to Cuatro Vientos too. I mean, they're still open, but I just haven't had a chance to go. I was thinking of driving down and... And um, getting some food, and then maybe there tomorrow, but I'm not sure yet, depending on how it goes tomorrow. <laughs> the Curse Dad? I mean, I know he was a big prospect in the last, in this past Bowman. He's a, he's a big time player. I said, I hear, sorry. Andre Cunha Jr. Out of 25, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. There you go. Adley Rutschman. I don't know, I'm just pennies leaving all these little die because they're so cool. <clears throat> Pete Crow Armstrong, that's another good one there. Prospect there for the Mets. Ooh, that's a nice Ken Griffin. Man, these cards are beautiful. I always love Bowman's best. They do such a great job. Alright. Little Atomic here. Adley Rutschman. Baltimore Orioles, man. They got some good prospects, right? <clears throat> Alec Baum. Little Trout. And Jordan Walker, another prospect there for the St. Louis Cardinals. Pit Burger, where's that at, man? I'm a big guy, man. I love food. Trying to, you know, lose a little more weight. But I still, of course, just, just portion sizing. So, I don't mind trying all these places as long as it's just portion size. Luis Robert, a little Bowman's best card right here. And we got uh, Jared Kellenick. Carlos. Fernando Tatis Jr. Oh, it's, right. it's Gardena? It's in my hood? Where I'm at now? On borderline Gardena, Redondo Beach. Where is this pit burger you speak of? At, I mean, I should say. A little negative here. It's a cool looking car. And Andres Munoz. On Normandy too? Man. I'm, close, I'm right off, um, closer off of uh, Redondo Beach Boulevard, but... Normandy crosses. My wife loves burgers, so, I mean, if it's a burger place you're talking about, I know she'll be for it. All for it. 
Solak. You got Sean Murphy. Torkelson. So Pitt Burger, right? I'm going to look that up. And I'm taking my little dinner break right now. My wife, I'm going to tell her about it. <laughs> She'll be like, why don't you tell me to go get that then? All right, guys. Next four boxes. Actually, where is it at on Normandy? I'm starting to think I might have seen this place. Is it on Normandy, like between Artesia and Redondo Beach Boulevard? Or like, what's the big cross street that's it by? I think I've seen that place before. And it is kind of like a hole in the wall. Because, you know, when you brought up teriyaki, or the Terry Burgers, the Teriyaki Burgers, I think, I think that's who they're, I think that's kind of their signature thing, I want to say, right? Because, like, I thought it says, like, Terry Burgers on the, t on the front of their, like, little hole in the wall. I'm going to pass by it tonight when I go home. <laughs> See if that's the place you're talking about. Thankfully, my wife is going to go pick up our food, so I was like, I'm starting to get a little hungry talking all this food. I only ate breakfast this morning, so it's technically my lunch. Definitely, Lonnie. Uh, it is going to fill, and I will break it. 
I, you know, like I said, if I stay here till about 11.30 like I did last night, we still have like four hours left. So we still have plenty of time. So no need to worry. If it fills, it breaks. Because if other breaks that are stuck and, you know, they don't move, by the time we get to that, you know, later part of the night, if they're still stuck, then, you know, I'll call it. But we got plenty of time. I'm just going to take a quick little lunch break. Uh, get some food in my system. Then I'm going to come back. I'm going to go through the 30 plus orders. I have at 35 orders now. I'll probably get to like 40 by the time I get done with this. So 40 plus orders. Um, I know one of the fillers already sold out earlier today, number two. So that'll probably be the first break we do. And then, you know, if the third one sells out, then we do that. And then we run the mixer. But I know, you know, of course, there's other breaks that are moving uh, still. So that way we can continue to do that. Like I think Timeless Treasures is really close now down to six. Um, you know. I still would love to do that flawless random hit break, guys. You, those are the last two spots we're giving away in that last filler. So, we do that tonight as well. That unlocks it. And then, of course, you know, we have nine left now in the next Mosaic two box break. That is moving. NT, we filled up the little helmet filler. So, for NT, all we have to do is sell out the last six spots and NT first off the line. And we're sold out as well. So, you know, there's still some good stuff we can do. <coughs> Excuse me. So plenty of time, some nice stuff. All right, Jada, hopefully, brother. <clears throat> hopefully, brother. Not too bad odds with six spots, so much harder when it's like one or two. Wow, did he pick it off? Alrighty guys, good luck. Last four boxes, but there's still four autos in each box, so it's a total of 16. Pete Alonzo. <clears throat> Robert Hassel, franchise favorites, the Little Atomic. Jordan Yamamoto. Autograph there for the uh, Miami Marlins. Tatis, franchise favorites. A little purple, Joey Votto. Got a... T. Brian Hayes. We got a Tyler Soderstrom Atomic to 25 autograph for Oakland. And Arthur King. Jordan Rookie. Little Trout. Rizzo. To 99. Bobby Wood Jr. We got a gold Bobby Wood Jr. franchise favorite. This is very nice. Kansas City Royals. Joseph with that one. <clears throat> and JT Ramuto gold to 50 for the Phillies. Jordan rookie. Boba Shet. Joey Bart. Arcid is Aquino and Logan Webb. Giants. Win a guy.
I wish it wasn't. I wish it wasn't like that. I wish like you know it was already decided. Cause I mean I don't even want any of these NFC teams to go to the playoffs. You know, but it sucks that the Eagles can literally like put one in the playoffs if they win, and then if they lose, you know, they put the other. I wish there was just like a clear cut winner like a long time ago. Jordan Alvarez, Atomic franchise favorites, and Spencer Torkelson. How about that one right there? Detroit Tigers. Joseph Pearl with that one. But you know what would be crazy is if the Giants actually were, if the Eagles were to win and the Giants go in, um, Tom Brady versus the Giants again. Payback, redemption. Of course, with a new team, but. We got Daxon Fulton. Marlins. Jordan. We got Everson Pereira. Yankees. It's going to uh, Chris. We got Gavin Lux to 250. Bobachette, little power Purdue. Ooh, Jordan to 150, rookie. Houston, going to Shane. We got Luis Robert right there. It's the first Luis Robert I see. Rookie base, at least I should say. Kyle Lewis. Alright, Boba Shet. Shogo. Nick Gonzalez. Damn it, he was open too. Justin Foscu. Oh, nice. That's cool. I will. My Eagles would have to win then for sure for that to happen. Justin May, Nick York, Austin uh, Red Sox, Casey Mize, Arcid Aquino, we got Luis Castillo to 250 for the Cincinnati Reds, one of Jerry. All right, we're starting to get a lot more Luis Robert rookies. Whoa, this guy looks very short. Is he really this short, or was this just some mess up? He looks like a little kid. Oh, he's 5'10". Maybe that's why. But they make him look way shorter than 5'10". <laughs> Emerson Hancock to 250. Has it really been Mojo? I, I, it's my first time seeing all this stuff, so... Love Bowman's best, but I mean, first time seeing the new version of it, so don't know what was good or not. Spencer Torkelson and another Yordan. Wow. Nick York. I don't know if it's a short print or not, so just turn around. Zach Bean and Manny Machado. Backwards. I don't know if that what it means. Oh, nice. I was trying to think of Penny. I was like, oh, that sounds like someone I remember. Penny, and then... I know, I think I know of Elijah Penny. And then, like you said, Rash Rashid Penny, yeah. Yes, Jason. Uh, the Upper Deck Hockey Series 1. 
I did do that. Uh, it was the break I just did before this. Uh, I don't know if the video is fully completely uploaded, uh, but if you want to give it a couple more minutes, I think it says pending. You know, it was about an hour and 40 minute break, but should be up soon. You'll be able to see it. All right, last box, guys. Good luck. Manny Machado. This card's stuck. That is out of 50. San Diego Padres. We got Robert Pawson. Very nice. Another one for the A's going to Arthur King. Luis Robert franchise favorites. Joe Adele. I hope so, MVP. I mean, we're down to six left. If you guys want to get it done. I don't, I don't mind doing another one of these. Stuff is nice. Another Robert Pawson. Wow. Wow. Dustin May. Robert Pawson. I mean, uh, Kyle, <laughs> Kyle Lewis. Logan Webb to 50. Giants going to guy. Mike Trout. Nolan Gorman. And a Jason Dominguez. Wow. That's really nice. Good, good names. Hopping out of here. A lot of nice prospect names, too. Very, very nice stuff. Gavin Lux. All right, guys. Well, I'll do a little, little quick recap. Some nice stuff, as always. My first glance at this new Bowman's Best, but I've always loved the previous years. This stuff just never seems to go down in price. It just only goes up. You get a kind of mixture of both, right? You get a nice, some nice prospects, and you also get the rookies. You know, all that good stuff. So, a lot of penny sleeve cards, guys, that will be top-loaded. I mean, just a quick glance. You know, I don't, I don't know... All the craziness of values, but I know all these players are good. So, of course, all the color cards. This other huge stack right here. And then um, I'll top load all these autographs right here that I'm missing. But uh, just quick glance, really quick to go through them. So we got Logan Webb to 50, Robert Pawson, another Robert Pawson. We got Jordan Alvarez, Luis Castillo, Nick York, Fosco, Jordan Alvarez to 250, uh, Pereira. Fulton, Logan Webb, Real Muto, Soderstrom, so Joey Votto to 250 numbered. Yamamoto, we got Sean Murphy. <clears throat> we got Sean Murphy, Andres Munoz, Jordan Walker, Adley Rutschman, P. Crow Armstrong, uh, Kerstad to 150 blue, uh, Casey Smith, Max Muncy, Brandon McKay, Dylan Cease, Pete Alonzo to 99, Arcidez Aquino, Tim Anderson, Will Smith, Gavin Lux Redemption. Alzole, Torkelson, and Jason Dominguez. Yeah, Jason, just give it about another 5-10 minutes, man. Um, what you can always do, too, is that I think our DVR effect is... You can rewind up until about 5 hours ago. So you can actually just click that red dot. Maybe scroll back about 2 hours. And then you can see the break as if you're watching it live. If you don't want to wait for the video to upload. But it does take time. So there you go, guys. That was Bowman's Best. 8-box case break. Pikachu number 14. Remember, number 15 is in the store. Single digits. Let's definitely get the next one going. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.